Without further ado, what do you say we welcome the architects of Black Audio? Davey and Jade are here. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up. Hi, everyone. How are you doing? Sure, I got here. Testing, testing. Well, it kind of feels like a talk show. I know, it does. Very much. So, Jade Puget, what did you have for breakfast today? Oh, my, that's so interesting. Oh, my. Is that sarcasm? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what to do. I'm not, I'm not a talk show host. Aaron's going to ask us some questions. Well, what did okay. you guys think of the album? What did, you, did, you hear the, did you hear the sound? Did you hear the, the record on the, uh, on the sound system in here? Uh, oh, I no, heard it throbbing through the walls. Yeah, it sounded like I a rave. I felt like I was at a rave. I was about to break out some glow sticks and yeah. start dancing around. Yeah. Was, but yeah, thanks, guys, for being here. Absolutely. Um, thanks for having us, Aaron. Yeah. And thank you all for coming. We really appreciate Certainly. it. Thank you. So, Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you liked the, the six songs that you heard. And um, Do you have the record yet? No? That's okay. a special surprise. You just blew the special surprise, Davey. You're getting the record. <laughs> Sorry. I guess that's it. Now we can leave. I blew the surprise. So much for the element of surprise. Yeah. Well, well we yes. have some questions that were submitted. How, how, did this, how did this conception become a fruition? How did you guys start the project? I know, Davey, you, you played me some demos off this, was it last year after... Right, two years ago, maybe after BFD, when you guys headlined. Oh yeah, I played them for you. Them. Those demos are really old. I don't know when we. When did we record the first demos? A long time long ago. Years we ago. We started talking about this like three or four years ago, and you know, being doing Sing the Star and December Underground with AFI took up all our time. And finally, in the last six months, we kind of had a chance to write a record and put it out, which is nice. Yeah. What I mean for for you guys, does the word does the word side project sort of belittle what Black Audio is? Or do you guys consider this sort of a separate project, autonomous of AFI? We really do. I mean, it's so, it's so different from you know, what we do with AFI. It's a completely different band. It's a completely different form of expression for us um, artistically, and it really represents a, an alternate facet of our interests and um, our musical background. We both grew up listening to a lot of different forms of electronica, and we've been fans of electronica for years and years and years. And it's a great outlet for us um, to, you know, be a part of that music and create that music. And uh, it's uh, it really, really stands on its own completely. Aside from that, of course, we realize that people know of us from AFI, and you know that will either encourage people to listen to it or discourage pe people to listen to it. Uh, but it really, we really hope that it stands alone on its, you know, alone. Uh, Lori asked this question: Where and when can we expect to see Black Audio live? Don't think it's going to be Modesto this time around. <laughs> the, the first show, uh, once you guys announce it, we haven't even announced the first live Black Audio show, which is coming up. It will be close to Modesto, though. The very first show. Ironically, it's right here across the bay. <laughs> right here across the bay, over there. And in San Francisco. Even more ironically, this is the guy that's doing the show. Aaron, if you will, go ahead. Yeah, Black Audio Live at Pop Scene, August 30th. Is there a proper tour going to be in the planning for the fall? The, we're doing a kind of a tour yeah. in the beginning of September. It's a short one, but it is a proper tour. We're going all over. We're going to Canada, a couple of shows, and going all over the U.S. So. Does the association with a lot of the, the 80s um, influences, is that a positive or negative? For instance, I got an email at the station the other day, and someone's like, Dear Aaron, I heard a new Depeche Mode song called Sanctuary. Or he says Sanctuary <laughs> by Depeche Mode. Where can I find it? <laughs> I sent you that. Yes. Yeah, I heard a lot of people have been requesting the song as Sanctuary. Like, can you play Sanctuary? Yeah. Which, I don't know why you'd pick that lyric. Maybe because it's repeated? It is the repeated lyric. But yeah, it's, it's not repetition. even in the, is it in the chorus? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I think Steph Kittens is a better title. We but can tell who writes the lyrics and who <laughs> programs the music. Um, you know, that song particularly has a definitely a Depeche Mode vibe, but, you know, I don't think that the record is like a Depeche Mode sounding record. So, um, but... You know, I don't. I understand how people could think it's '80s sounding a little bit. Question for you guys: For me, is do you guys do you guys consider Black Audio a long-term project, or is this something that just you wanted to do one album and just be content with that and, and focus on AFI? The way it wor it's worked out so far is, you know, we just got done with December Underground, and now we're doing this record. Is hopefully we could just kind of go back and forth between them. Like, I already wrote a new song for what would be the next Black Audio record, and, and, I wrote and he wrote the lyrics, lyrics and, and melody, melody to it. So, so you know, <laughs> we already kind of started working on that, but we're going to definitely do a new AFI record next. So, is, uh, 
Amy, uh, this is Amy from Live 105. This is Amy, our, our staffer. She does our website and good stuff. Is this, okay, oh, here we go. This is a good question. Is this half of AFI, wait, okay, I'm sorry. If this half of AFI is called black audio, would the other half be called white video? That's brilliant. That's probably my favorite question. Yeah, that's my favorite question, too. I think it, it pretty much answered itself. So. Yes, obviously, clearly. Oh, here's another question. When and where will Black Audio be playing in San Francisco? Oh, they'll be playing on my club pop scene. Thank you for asking. Oh, wow, that. there it is again. You wrote that one for sure. <laughs> well, I think that about wraps up our, our Q&A session today. Um, again, I want to thank everyone for coming out. I want to thank you guys, Davey and Jade, for uh, participating in this. Thank you, Aaron. Yeah. Thank you for having, thank you for having and, uh, us. Thank you for having us. Expression, of course, and Marissa and Interscope and Kimberly. All right, thanks again, guys, for coming out. Let's uh, hear it again for Black Audio, Davey and Jade. The students at Expression College for putting this together. Marissa, thank you. Sorry I was 40 minutes late. Shit traffic. Thanks, everyone.